Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are converting this Figma design into a real website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in the previous video, I showed you how to design this testimonial section. And if you go to the browser, here you can see this is our progress as of now. We have designed the hero section and also the testimonial section. Now in this video, I'll show you how to design this uh, courses section over here. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the code. So let's go to the HTML file and uh, let's scroll down. And uh, here we can see for the courses section, we have this section with the class of courses section. And in that we have this wrapper division to have a max width for all the content inside the courses section. And in that we have all this content over here. So first of all, let's style this courses section. So let's go back to a style or CSS file. And here we'll just create a comment. I'll just type courses section. And here I'll just type dot courses section. And let's go back to our Figma file and let's get the CSS. So let's double click over here and uh, here let's go to inspect and let's scroll down. And here we can see we have this uh, background color. So let's copy this and let's paste it over here. All right, now the next thing we will do is we will add a padding. So here we can see on top of this, we have a padding of 70 pixels. So let's add a padding over here. So I'll just have padding. 70 pixels for top and bottom and I'll just type 0 for left and right. All right now let's go back to our browser and here we can see we have this courses section. Now we have to text align this heading to the center so let's go back and if you go to the HTML here we can see we have this h2 inside this courses section. So here I'll just type courses section h2 and here I'll just type text align center and now we can see the heading is in the center. All right, now the next thing we need to do is we need to bring both these course cards one next to the other. So if you go back to the Figma file, here we can see we have this course card over here on the left and then we have the next course card here on the right. So let's go back and uh, let's go to the HTML and here we can see we have a division with the class of course cards and in that we have these two course cards over here. So let's add a display of flex to these course cards. So here let's type courses section course cards and I'll just set the display to flex and we will have a gap of let's go back to our Figma file and let's see what is the gap. So if I click over here and if I press alt, we can see we have a gap of 73 pixels. I'll just round it to 70 pixels. So let's go back and here let's tap 70 pixels. All right now let's go back to our browser and here we can see now we have these course cards one next to the other. Now let's set the width of the image to 100% of the container. So here I'll just type courses section, course cards, IMG and here I'll just set the width to 100%. And now we can see we have the correct width for the image. All right now let's go back to our Figma file and here we can see for the image we also have rounded corners. So let's double click over here on this image. And uh, here we can see we have a border radius of 24 pixels and we also have this drop shadow. So I'll just copy both these lines of code. And let's go back and uh, here I'll just paste it inside the image. And let's go back to our Chrome. And now we can see we have the drop shadow and the rounded corners. All right, now the next thing we will do is we will style the course card. So let's go back to our uh, HTML. And here we can see for each of the course cards, we have this uh, division with the class of course card. So let's style this. Let's go back to our styler CSS file. And here let's tap courses section and course card. And let's go back to our Figma file and here we can see we have this border radius of 24 pixels and a background color of white. And we also have a padding of 0 top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. So let's copy these two lines of code and uh, let's go back and I'll just paste it over here. And let's go back and I'll also copy this padding and paste it over here. All right now let's go back to our browser and here we can see we have this white background color. And we'll also have some margin at the top. So let's set a margin of 40 pixels for top and bottom and zero for left and right. And now we can see we have this margin at the top. All right, now the next thing we will do is style this heading. So let's go back to our Figma file and let's double click over here. And let's go to the inspect and let's scroll down. And here we can see the CSS of this heading. So let's copy all of this. And let's go back to our code. And for the heading, we have this uh, S3 over here. 
so let's style that so here I'll just type courses section course card s3 and I'll just copy the styles and let's remove this color and let's add our variable over here so I'll just have var dark blue color and I'll just remove this comment and font style and also add sans serif over here all right now let's go back to our browser and here we can see we have the styling for the heading now the next thing we will do is we want this heading and this duration to be one next to the other so for that we have to add a display of flex to the parent division so if you go back to our HTML here we can see we have this division with the class of info and in that we have this s3 and the duration so we will set a display of flex to this info division so let's go back and here I'll just type courses section course card info and here let's type display of flex and let's go back to our figma file and let's see what is the gap that we have over here so if I press option or alt we can see we have a gap of 16 pixels so let's add that gap over here so I'll just type gap of 16 pixels and the next thing we will do is we'll position them to the left and to the extreme right so I'll just type justify content and space between and uh, I will also bring it to the center vertically so I'll just type align items to the center all right now let's go back to our browser and now we can see we have the heading on the left and the duration on the right all right now let's add the styling for the duration so let's go back to the figma file and let's double click over here and here we can see the styles for the duration so I'll just copy these and let's go back to our code and for the duration we have this division with the class of duration so I'll just add that over here I just type courses section course card duration and uh, here I'll just paste the code and let's change this color to the dark variable so I'll just type dark blue color and I'll just delete this comment and this style and I'll just add sans serif over here all right now let's go back to our browser and here we can see we have the styling for the duration but here in the duration we have this uh, 15 written over here at the top and ours written over here at the bottom so we have this in two different lines now we want to have both of these in the same line so let's go back and here we need to add a line of code which is white space no wrap all right now if we go back to our browser here we can see we have 15 hours written in the same line all right now the next thing we will do is we will add the clock symbol over here on the left of the duration so if you go back to our figma file here we can see we have this symbol over here so here I'll just type courses section course card duration and we will use a before selector so I'll just type before and for the content I'll just type the URL of the image so I'll just type URL so here I'll just type images slash and the image is called clock.svg now let's go back to our browser and now we can see we have this clock image over here now we will add some more styles over here to position it correctly so we'll position this relative to this uh, duration over here so here I'll just type position of relative and here we'll just type position absolute and uh, we'll set the top position to 2 pixels and we'll set the left position to negative 6 pixels let's see how it looks and now we can see it is in the correct position vertically but we need to have some padding over here on the left for this uh, duration so let's go back and here for the duration I'll just have padding left and I'll just set a padding left of 20 pixels let's go back and now we can see it looks alright so let's go back to our figma file and the next thing we will do is we will add this rectangle over here at the bottom of this course card so let's select this and here we can see the styling for this rectangle and I'll just select all of these lines of code from here and let's go back to our code and for this we will use an after selector so here just after the course card I just tap courses section course card colon colon after and I'll just set the content to blank and we'll just paste the CSS over here and we don't need to have this top over here so I'll just delete this line of code and I'll just set the right to 32 pixels so from the right we will have a spacing of 32 pixels and from the left also we will have a spacing of 32 pixels and from the bottom we will have a spacing of 0 and we have a height of 8 pixels 
and we'll set the color to the dark color so i'll just tap var dark blue color now we need to set the position of this after selector relative to this course card so here i'll just tap position relative and here i'll just tap position absolute all right now let's go back to our browser and now we can see we have this rectangle over here and it looks all right now the last thing we need to style is this button so we need to bring this button over here to the right so for that let's go back to our code and uh, we will position the button relative to this wrapper division so let's go back and we will select the wrapper inside the courses section so here we can see in the courses section we have this wrapper so here i'll just type courses section wrapper and i'll just set the position to relative and now let's select the button so for the button we have a class of btn so let's select that here let's tap courses section wrapper btn and here let's tap position absolute and set the right position to zero and now we can see the button is on the right now the last thing we need to do is we need to add some padding over here at the bottom so let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's select the wrapper or let's select the courses section and uh, let's add some padding bottom so I'll just tap padding bottom and let's try some padding so let's start with 100 pixels I think we can increase the padding a little bit so I think uh, 120 pixels looks all right so let's add a padding bottom of 120 pixels for the courses section so let's go back and uh, let's go to the courses section and here we will add a padding bottom of 120 pixels and let's go back to our browser and now we can see everything looks all right so with that we have completed the design of the our courses section all right so that's it for this video you can find the link of the complete playlist in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Thank you.